Welcome to Who We Are, a special section of The Picture Professional, the online magazine of the American Society of Picture Professionals, ASPP. Today we're talking to Lindsay Nicholson. Lindsay, president of the New York chapter of ASPP, has been in the photo world for over 25 years, going on 30. She is an expert in digital asset management, photo research, photo production, and brings all those talents and her networking abilities to ASPP. Today I'd like to talk to her about the various alliances she's helping to build in the community and the plans she has for her chapter in the near and distant future. Lindsay Nicholson, welcome to Who We Are. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, you are the president of the New York chapter. Woo yeah, no, exactly. Right? <laughs> you know, and thank you for, for You're that. Welcome. So, in general, what, how has the past uh, year been for you, and what do you, what, what do you think? You uh, a year of change, yeah. and and uh, and maybe a, a good thing, good change. You know, mm -hmm. I think we've we've uh, as an organization are looking to the future. We're trying to automate. We're trying to modernize. We're trying to move away from the old tried and true way of working to something that's a little bit more nimble and a little bit more progressive. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so we're making a lot of modifications on how we put programs together, who we bring in to, to do various programs, and uh, and how we get it out to the community as a, as a whole. Social media is important to you, isn't you it? Go, yeah. yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, talk about a little bit about that. Well, I feel like when I first came on as the, as the chapter of president, I realized that we didn't really have much of a social media presence. We, right. we had a Facebook page which had some things on it, and we had, I think, an Instagram and a, and a Twitter account, but very rarely did we say much on them, and we didn't do much to I think engage our community regularly and I think that um, people in the industry now are really they're in tune with their with their social right. media pretty much all the time around the clock so mm -hmm. I felt like we needed to step that up a little bit as a as a visual agency and a visual industry that we needed to do a little more of that so I, I opened up an Instagram account and started to randomly post some things right. and mm -hmm. follow various people in our industry to help broaden our exposure. I feel like if we got into some of these ad agencies and into some of these stock agencies and repping houses that the people who work with photography every day, right. who are our members, right. <laughs> would get to see us and see what we're doing and, and uh, be a little bit more interested in joining as, a, as a, an organization to be a member of. So. Yeah, speaking of joining, what does ASPP mean to you, I mean, in general? Like why, why are you a member? I, I'm a long-term member, right. on and off. Now, I, right. I, there were a couple of years where I wasn't a member, we but do for what the we most can. part, <laughs> I, I've been a member since I was in my early 20s. Right. And I first saw it as, a, as an obligation. My employer uh, was too busy to actually go to all the meetings, so she said, I need somebody to, to go to these things. I need somebody <laughs> in my office who can stay in touch with what's happening and help us network as an organization. And at that time, it was the stock market photo agency. So. I said, all right, I, I like doing that kind of stuff. I like a good party. So right. I joined up um, at Jane Kinney's behest. I think, right. So right. she was the one who actually came into the office and said, we need more members. And so I was like, okay, <laughs> sign me up. Um, I see it as a, as a networking opportunity, but I also see it as an educational organization. And I see it as a as a way of, of staying informed about all the things that are happening in our industry. And, right. and we, we work in a business that's, um, revolutionizing now. Is that a word? I don't know yeah, that's a word. It is a, <laughs> it's yeah. going through an industrial revolution. Right. We are changing. Everything right. is changing from from analog to digital and beyond. So I feel like uh, our uh, the people who work in our industry have to have to really stay on top of that stuff. And right. in order to do that, you have to stay educated. You have educated. to go to seminars. You have to meet people. You have to hear what's happening in the in the industry or the changes that are being made, whether it's licensing changes or, or processing and back-end and website development. All those things impact how we do our jobs. You have a um, you have something coming up or you're, pl you're in the planning stage of a panel discussion. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, we're hoping to do something in, in uh, mid-October right now. We're, we're pulling together a, a seminar that's going to be centered around drone video and drone photography. Everything from producing and creating uh, magnificent photography, but also uh, marketing it, distributing it, licensing it, and of course some of the legal issues involved with right. 
driving drones around the city. And, That's great. Okay. And uh, I see that as, as being a sort of multifaceted right. um, seminar opportunity. I think we're going to bring in a couple of panelists who have a varied level of experience in the industry and do lots of different things from uh, real estate and event drone photography to, you know, city skylines and, and more stock related uh, videos. And, you know, I, I think it's a kind of a way of bridging not only, um, you know, aerial photography, but also moving image. Yes. Yeah. Right. Because, a because lot there's of nothing in our world that isn't moving, however. Right. The, with all our screens, it's even if it's just a little shuttle, subtle jiffing, right, it's right. still uh, still got movement involved. Right. And I think one of the things that I personally like about drone photography is that it's showing you the things you've seen a million times, but from a completely different angle. Mm -hmm. You know, we as photo editors and people in the industry, uh, we tend to get a little jaded. We've right. seen it. We've seen it all. There's seen very everything. little <laughs> that we haven't already seen a million times. So right. it's kind of interesting to to uh, have somebody show you that tried and true icon from a completely different perspective and I think that's part of what its attraction is you know it's uh, it's seeing the Empire State Building from straight down as opposed to from straight up mm -hmm. you know and I think I think that that surprise mm -hmm. is what has always attracted me to to, to uh, aerial photography but I also think that it, social media has has sort of brought that to my attention I think in my surfing around on Instagram I started to see this huge trend towards aerial work yeah and and more and more movement since right, now right. it's all video right, and Vimeo right. and, and uh, right. what's the other one? Periscope. Periscope, exactly. <laughs> so I feel like it's it's kind of a timely subject. And I think it will it will help us bring in um, some younger generation into our into our organization and also bring in photographers because we we have people who are from all angles of the business. So right. from photographers to editors to right. art buyers. Right. So I, I just want to sort of talk a little bit more about the rest of the season and beyond. Um, what else is going on in October? Well, we've got visual connections at the end of the month. And then I think actually right after that or simultaneously is Digital Licensing Management Association. DMLA, DMLA. is the following. Yeah, following. And then we have Photo Expo. So Photo it's sort Expo. of, what do they yeah. call that? Stocktober. Stocktober is coming. I never and called sort it of that. Boom, boom, I, boom. I just called it Photo yeah. Month. But yeah. Stocktober, okay. It's pretty, it's pretty intense. So I'm right, trying right. to coordinate the things that ASPP does in right. and around those events. Right. Um, obviously, ASPP is going to have a table at Visual right. Connections right. where we will have an opportunity to meet and greet with our members and seek out new members and, and uh, see what's happening in the industry as a whole and as you know I work with Visual Connections uh, uh, right. with Deborah and Edward and so yeah. I'm hoping it's going to be the best year ever. <laughs> I hope so. We'll be there. We'll have a table. Um, what about the winter party? Well we've just started having our first planning meetings for, with the party committee to uh, figure out where we're going to host this event and how we're going to bring in other people within the industry uh, whether it be ASMP or oh, okay. APA, bring in some of our our fellow agencies and associations to uh, to make it a, a bigger and better party. It's our 50th year anniversary, right. so there's certainly a lot uh, centered around that, as well as the uh, Industry Professional of the Year, so the Jane Kinney Award. Right. So we're going to be working on all of those things. And that's great. So uh, that is wonderful. So speaking of other uh, groups that you work with. Let's talk about building alliances. What, um, let's talk about YPA. Is that something you want to try to... Well, YPA, as you know, is my, my sort of a passion project. I've been yes. involved with them since the very and beginning. And it stands for? YoungPhotographersAlliance.org. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we were originally uh, funded by uh, a grant from ASMP, mm -hmm. and, which is the American Society of Media Professionals. Photographers. Photographers. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, th and that organization, YPA, is, is all about mentoring and incubating the next generation of photographers. So our goal is to, to help educate and inspire um, young, talented shooters from, from just out of college or just about to graduate. So what we do is we match them together with uh, professional working photographers who are in and around New York and various cities around the, around the country. And in right. fact, we've actually even had some in London and, and, uh, and Bangkok. Um, so our goal is to, to match a couple of students with a professional shooter and have that photographer uh, speak to them about their experiences actually in the business. So give them that um, 
more business related education, the kind of things that you don't learn when you're in art school, the things that you need to be prepared to do when you become a pres professional photographer, whether that's uh, contract negotiations or right. scouting or working right. with a repping house or, you know, in general casting, all those things, model releases, mm -hmm. rights and clearance, mm -hmm. you know, those, those sorts of things. So in and around a central theme, they work every summer and then we usually have an exhibition. So we have got that coming up yeah, I hope in that January. Can, I hope that we can work together on <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah. Well, know. it's definitely been something that I've wanted to do over the years to bring ASPP in into that organization because I think a lot of uh, photo students don't realize that there's a huge amount of jobs right. that are completely related to photography that don't necessarily mean sitting behind a camera shooting right. a picture. It, right. There's, you know, digital asset management, there's photo editing, there's research, there's, right. you know, planning, art buying, right. planning, Budget, right. art direction, direction <laughs> everything. Right. Um, and to close, what's going on next year? I mean, what do you think? What do you hope? Oh, man. Well, I have, we have a spreadsheet that's a mile long with right. a thousand ideas on it, um, whether that's uh, visits to various local museums and specialty archives. This past year, we went to the Burns Archive, which right. I thought was really fun and Amazing. fantastic, yeah. kind of a unique, uh, not seen often collection. And so I'm, I'm working with my board to try to get a few more of those types of, uh, of tours and private tours and visits in this year. And probably falling into next year as well mm -hmm. and in addition I would like to do something related to fashion photography I feel like there's an awful lot of of um, online shopping and fashion related photography that's in our industry and I'd like to try to to you know anchor a, right. a seminar of some sorts around that we're I haven't like fully a, formed that one we're yet, like one of the world yeah. capitals of yeah. fashion photography yeah. Yeah. yeah and I sort of missed fashion week this year yeah, but I think if, if, we, if we plan it correctly we could probably do something that's perfectly timed right. next year and, and kind of bring those things together and and bring in a few of our friends from ASMP and APA who work in fashion and try to get their perspective on the industry as well so We've got a lot going on, and uh, we're always looking for people to help us actually exactly. make those things happen. <laughs> thank you, exactly. Lindsay, I want to thank you, well, thank you for so much of your work thank and you for know. what you still have yet to do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining Keep us today. Keep looking. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Thank you. Thank you. All right.